this is Watanat. I am from Cambodia. Uh, now I go to Bethel College and I am taking master degree of uh, theology and um, I am very happy to be with you today. I just want to share a little bit about my story. Um, when I was young, um, I remember that I had to do a lot of paper bag and to make a lot of paper bags uh, for my mom to sell a cookie. And that was kind of a rough situation, you know, my mom had to wake up early in the morning, uh, uh, bake her cookies, you know, and then bring it out to sell in the evening. And when she come back home, we all sit down together, make a lot of paper bags, you know, as much as possible, so that she can put her cookie in and for sale. And we have to make it by, by, by ourselves so that uh, it is cheaper, you know. and. Um, and uh, my situation was really rough and um, I remember that I had an egg for lunch and that egg had to be divided into two halves one half is for my brother and one half is for me and we ate it with soy sauce and rice you know and my mom and dad would just go to work and work their work to the hardest to make some money save it up you know for my education for my future and everything like that they have been doing such a great job and um, and um, I remember that my mom would just come home with one cookie you know like the cookie that we made we could not even eat it but like my mom had to keep it like bring it home and then uh, uh, my brother and I uh, were so happy and we had to cut it, and cut it in half you know and everybody get a half and sometimes my brother and I would fight for a bigger one you know that is kind of funny but you know, when we when we are really in need, you know, when we don't have enough, we, we fight for whatever we can, you know, it's kind of stupid, but you know, and I was young and I didn't even know what to do that time, you know, trying, you know, just to fulfill my own self. And um, I kind of really praise the Lord that my parents uh, are trying their best and they kind of knew how to live, you know. Uh, they were not living under like big pressure, you know, they have been exploited or anything like that at all. But um, it is just that uh, because the country was poor, it was so hard to make the money, therefore they have to save every single penny they can, you know. And uh, well, what we could do was just to find the food to eat for survival, you know. Uh, it was not plenty enough, but it was just for us to to grow up. And, 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 and then my, my parents... Um, uh, change different job, uh, go get a better job, and they do better business. And right now they are doing well, you know, back home in Cambodia. Um, what I'm saying to you right now, it is very important to to be a part of lives of the needy. You know, like people in the other part of the world. If you don't know, oh my goodness, they are facing big problem. It is just that they don't have chance, you know. They have been trying their best, you know, to do everything possible to live a better life, but it is just difficult, very difficult for them. They have been exploited, uh, people have been cheating them around, you know. It's just that they cannot do anything to get better, you know. It's not like in America, if you were trying your best, if you were really, if you really want to work, at least you make a thousand dollars a month and then you can live, you know what I mean? But like back out there in the third world countries like some part of India, Middle East and Southeast Asia, you know, in Africa, they just have no chance. The disaster, the problem, this and that, it just does not give them a, a, a good chance at all. So I would encourage you uh, who is listening right now, um, if you can do something to be a part of their life, say for example, uh, helping them to to get education, giving them uh, like sewing machines so that they can uh, uh, sew clothes at home, you know, do better business. Or sometimes they can do the farming job, you know, like you just buy them cow and they raise cow or pig, you know, or chicken and stuff like that. It is really, really important and, and it's really helpful because they, they really kind of need that thing to, to get up, you know. And for the government part, I believe the government are doing their own job, you know what I mean? Uh, uh, the, the USA government is doing their own job to, to make sure that justice 
human rights is happening everywhere in the world, the United Nations and stuff like that. But but let let look at our own part. What can we do? You know, what can we do? Can we contribute anything? Labor force, time, money, um, uh, encouragement. You know, it's very important, and uh, I really believe that. Uh, uh, God is very happy when we serve one another, you know. Uh, I don't remember the reference, but there was, there's a verse in the Bible saying that no one has actually really seen the Lord, but if you, are, if you love one another, the Lord abides in you, you know. Like, that is how you see the Lord, by helping and serving one another. And that is a big part of our lives, you know. And we can just bring social justice to everybody else, you know. And um, as I told you, so pray. Uh, see if God can tell you, if God tells you to do something, contribute something, you know, uh, to help the world, to, you know, to help other people to live in a better world. Thank you very much. And this is CNN. <laughs>